This week on Granite State Challenge, the team from Dover High School <laughs> takes on the team from Trinity High School. Only one team will advance. Granite State Challenge starts now. Major funding for the production of Granite State Challenge is provided by Unitil. Additional funding provided by NEA New Hampshire, Safety Insurance, the New Hampshire Lottery, D.F. Richard Energy, Cognia, HRCU, and viewers like you. Thank you. Get ready, it's time for New Hampshire high schools to match wits in a high stakes scholastic showdown. It's time for Granite State Challenge. Here's your host, John Cannon. Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining us this week on Granite State Challenge. We are about at the end of the first round of our 41st season. Seven teams have already punched their ticket to round two and the last of our first round teams are here to try to do just that. Let's introduce them to you. First up, we have the team from Dover High School. The team is led by senior captain Ben, who enjoys chess. Tell us how you got into chess. Yeah, I started playing from a young age, and I guess uh, just enjoy the intricate patterns and all the different possible moves, and yeah, big fan. All right, do you guys have a club at school? Yeah, we do, yeah. All right, and what's the right first move? E4. 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 All right, I will remember that. Ben is joined by junior Maddie, who tried a new sport this season. It was? Cross country. Cross country running, and, and how'd you like it? I liked it a lot. All right, now are you a runner? Have you been running before on other teams or anything? Yeah, I've been running track since freshman year. Okay, and, and what do you think of cross country? Do you like it better maybe? I think I still like track better. Okay, that's fair enough. All right, Maddie is joined by Ethan, a junior. And Ethan wants to be a pilot when he's older. You're working on your pilot's license right now, right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, I'm, how's that going? It's going good. I'm taking lessons out of Hampton Airfield. Okay, how far along are you? Uh, nine hours out of 40. Nine hours out of 40. So you're like a good chunk into it. Everything gone okay so far? Everything's gone smooth, yeah. You're here, right? That's so, correct. All right, awesome. That is Ethan. And Ethan is joined by Junior Travis. Uh, who also does track, but a different event. What's your event? Uh, yeah, I do the hurdles. Okay, and, and when did you start running with hurdles? Um, I first tried it in around like seventh grade. And you liked it? I did, It yeah. went okay, you didn't bang up your legs or your <laughs> knees too much? Uh, not after a little while. <laughs> Once you got the hang of it, huh? Yeah. Awesome, well keep that up. The alternates for the team are senior Bobby and junior Leviathan, and the team is coached by Tim Elliott, and they're the team from Dover High School. All right, and waiting to take them on is the team from Trinity High School. The team is led by senior captain Katie, who is a dance team coach. Tell me about that. Um, I teach the youngest team at my studio. Okay, and what are they? What type of dance does the youngest team do? They do lyrical and jazz. Lyrical and jazz. And how, how young are we talking with these kiddos? Uh, fifth grade to sophomore year. Okay, so that's like fairly old. Yeah, how do you like it? I love it, it's my favorite thing. Yeah, you think about owning a dance studio maybe someday? Yes, that's what I wanna do when I'm older. Awesome, I hope so, that's amazing. All right, Katie is joined by senior Liam, who also has something amazing on his resume. What is it? Uh, I am officially a United States patent holder. And that's amazing. And yeah. what is the, the device or product that you have a patent for? Yeah, so uh, we developed a device. It's an array of sensors that will alert people who are blind to where other people are and relay that to them via haptic vibrations. That's awesome. And is this headed to market? Ideally, we'd like to find a manufacturer at some point and get it out there, get it helping people. Yeah, that's amazing. All right, Liam is joined by Junior Hayden, who's an outdoorsman, likes to be outdoors. What types of stuff you like to do outdoors? I uh, love playing sports with my friends. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, if you're gonna play sports, you wanna do it outdoors. You have a favorite to play with your friends outside? Uh, probably basketball. Okay, yeah, that works. You could do that, you know, pretty much anywhere there's a hoop. Yeah, that works. Uh, and Hayden is joined by Junior Matt, who is maybe doing a different activity, physical activity. What is it? Well, uh, around January of last year, I started to get into weightlifting. And mm -hmm. since I've felt so much more confident. Uh, awesome. So that's, that's fantastic. Nice. And uh, you going to the gym today? Yes. Right what, what day is it? Leg day. It's leg day. It's always leg yes, day. Sir. All right. The alternates for the team are sophomores Desmond and Tyler. And the team is coached by Lewis Seavers. And they're the team from Trinity High School. 
All right, and one more quick introduction, and that is, of course, our judge back with us again is Ann Belanger. All right, teams, introductions are out of the way. Go ahead and grab those signaling devices because it is time to play Granite State Challenge. As you know, we play in four rounds, and in round one, we do 10-point toss-up questions. So, Dover and Trinity, good luck. Here we go. In a 1987 speech at this gate in West Berlin, President Ronald Reagan demanded that Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev tear down this wall. Ethan of Dover. The Brandenburg Gate. That's right. This New Zealand director won the directing Oscar for the 2021 film Power of the Dog. She has previously won a Best Original Screenplay Oscar for the 1993 film The Piano. It is Jane Campion. Teams, what type of energy does a child sitting at the top of a slide have? Hayden of Trinity. Potential energy. That's right. In 1776, the Continental Congress appointed Roger Sherman, Robert Livingston, and these three men to draft a Declaration of Independence from England. Hayden of Trinity. Uh, Jefferson, Madison, and Franklin. Sorry, no. Dover? Hayden, you got two of the three. You got Jefferson and Franklin. The other was John Adams. John Adams. In 2002, a jury in Birmingham, Alabama, convicted former Ku Klux Klan member Bobby Frank Cherry of the 1963 murder of four girls in a bombing at this church. It was at the 16th Street Baptist Church. Atoms contain electrons, protons, and neutrons. Which one of these has a negative electrical charge? Hayden of Trinity. Electrons. That's right. This woman was the lead singer for the San Francisco rock band Big Brother and the Holding Company from 1966 to 1968. You may know her as a solo artist, Janis Joplin. In 1791, this state became the 14th state admitted to the United States. It was right next door in Vermont. In 1681, this King of England, Scotland, and Ireland granted a land charter to William Penn for the land that is now Pennsylvania. Katie of Trinity. King George III. Sorry, no. Ben of Dover. King George II. Sorry, no, it was King Charles II. In, 18, sorry, in 1787, William Herschel discovered two moons of Uranus, Titania and Oberon, the moons were named for the fairy king and queen from this Shakespearean comedy. Maddie of Dover. Midsummer Night's Dream. That is correct. In 1997, James L. Elliott, Edward W. Dunham, and Jessica Mink discovered rings around this planet. Travis of Dover. Uh, Saturn. Sorry, no. Matt of Trinity. Jupiter. Sorry, no, it was Uranus again. Two cards in a row. In 1993, this woman became the first female Attorney General of the United States, where she served from 1993 to 2001. She was famously portrayed by Will Ferrell as the host of a televised dance party on Saturday Night Live. Matt of Trinity. Jan Reno. That is right. Known as Charlie Hustle, this baseball player and manager was banned from the game in 1989 for gambling. Ben of Dover. Pete Rose. Correct. In 1968, troops in South Vietnam killed as many as 500 unarmed civilians in what became known as this massacre. It was the My Lai Massacre. George Washington was the first U.S. president. John Adams was the second, and Thomas Jefferson was the third. Who was the fourth? Hayden of Trinity. Madison. That's right. This superhero created by writer Jerry Siegel and artist Joe Schuster first appeared in DC Comics in 1938 and was raised by a farm couple in Smallville, Kansas. Matt of Trinity. Superman. That's right. This group gave its last public performance on the roof of Apple Records in London in 1969. Katie of Trinity. The Beatles. That's right. I am so hungry I could eat a horse is an example of this figure of speech. Ben of Dover. Hyperbole. Yes. Although she was born in Massachusetts, this Olympic swimmer considers Dover, New Hampshire to be her home. She has eight relay gold medals. Ben of Dover. Jenny Thompson. That's right. 
Helen Keller, Jeanette Rankin, Jane Adams, and Elizabeth Gurley Flynn were all founding members of this nonprofit organization founded in 1920 to defend individual rights and liberties. Ben of Dover. March of Dimes? Sorry, no. Trinity? Is the ACLU, the American Civil Liberties Union, but that sound ends the round in a tight first round with Trinity on top by a score of 60 to 50. All right, teams, in round two of Granite State Challenge, we play three strikes and you're out. So each team will get 10 questions. Um, we'll go player by player until all 10 questions are asked and until three incorrect responses or three strikes and you're out. Each team has three passes. And as a reminder, something in the previous question will be the inspiration for the next question. So Dover and Ben, this is your question. The children's book, Make Way for Ducklings by Robert McCloskey, tells the tale of a duck family traveling across this New England city. Pass. Pass. Maddie? Boston. Boston is correct. Ethan, this book by Robert McCloskey tells the tale of a little girl and a bear cub gathering blueberries in Maine. It is called Blueberries for Sal. Travis. This rock and roll pioneer is known for the songs Blueberry Hill, Ain't That a Shame, and Walking, in New, uh, Walking to New Orleans. Um, pass. Pass to Ben. Uh, Fats Domino. Fats Domino is correct. Maddie, in 2005, New Orleans was devastated by this hurricane, which caused over 1,300 deaths and caused billions of dollars in damages. Katrina. Katrina's right. Ethan. The, Saf the Saffer Simpson hurricane scale was developed in 1971 by civil engineer Herbert Saffer and meteorologist Robert Simpson. It was introduced to the public in 1973. How many categories are there on the scale? Five. Correct. Travis, this singer songwriter wrote the 1975 song Hurricane about the imprisonment of boxer Reuben Hurricane Carter. He also wrote the songs Blowing in the Wind, Like a Rolling Stone, and Tangled Up in Blue. Uh, pass. Pass. Ben? Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan is right. Team's out of passes. Maddie, this man was a student at the London School of Economics before he became the lead singer of the Rolling Stones. Mick Jagger. Correct. Ethan, according to the proverb, a Rolling Stone gathers none of this. It gathers no moss. Travis, in his poem, To the Virgins to Make Much of Time, Robert Herrick encourages young women to gather these while they may. Uh, I don't know, flowers? It's close, it is rosebuds. But that is the end of your three strikes round. All right, Trinity, we turn our attention to you. Same drill, we'll go right down the line, starting with you, Katie. According to the children's song, this old man had a farm. Uh, old MacDonald? Yes. Liam, in George Orwell's 1945 allegorical novel, Animal Farm, animals working to create a society free of their human farmers are betrayed by this pig. Pass. Hayden, your question. Napoleon? Yes, correct. Matt, in the 2004 movie Napoleon Dynamite, the titular character lives with his grandmother and brother in this Rocky Mountain state famous for its potatoes. Idaho. Correct. Katie, the 1991 film My Own Private Idaho, directed by Gus Van Zandt and starring River Phoenix and Keanu Reeves, is loosely based on this author's play about two King Henrys. Uh, William Shakespeare. Yes. Liam. Keanu Reeves starred with Sandra Bullock in this movie about a bus that would blow up if it went too slow. Speed? Yes. Hayden, in 1973, the U.S. Congress enacted a national speed limit of 55 miles per hour in reaction to a crisis in this industry. Highway? No, it is the oil industry. Matt, this character in The Wizard of Oz needs oil to loosen his rusted joints. The tin Man? Yes. Katie, this actor who portrays Wolverine in the X-Men movies, also played Australian singer and songwriter Peter Allen in the Broadway musical The Boy From Oz. Hugh Jackman? Yes. Liam, the Wolverine is a member of the Mustelidae family. 
Other members of the family include weasels, badgers, ferrets, and this animal that has 13 extant species, including a playful river-dwelling species, Lantra can canadensis, that is found in New Hampshire. The otter? It is right, yes. And Hayden, this large member of the deer family, found in New Hampshire, was also one of the characters in the animated series Rocky and Bullwinkle. Pass. Okay, pass to Matt. The moose. Moose is correct, and that is the end of your three strikes round. All right, at this point, I would like to invite the alternates to join their teams as we head into round three, which is our 60-second round. In this round, uh, each team will get 10 questions in a category. We will, uh, you guys can confer as a team, but we'll take the captain's answer as the team answer, and Dover is the team trailing. You get to go first, and you get to choose from these categories. All about the Benjamins. Tell me a story and pop up. We'll go all about the Benjamins. All about the Benjamins. All right. The answers to the following will all include the name Ben, Benjamin, or Benny. Any version of Ben. All right. Again, Ben, I'll take your answer as the team answer. 60 seconds. Start the clock. This is a large clock tower in London. Big Ben. Big ben. Yes. This actor plays Doctor Strange in the Marvel Universe. Benedict Cumberbatch. Yes. This man served as an ambassador to France from 1776 to 1785. Ben Franklin. Yes. This man wrote the movie Good Will Hunting with his friend Matt Damon. Ben Affleck. Yes. He served as the British Prime Minister from 1874 to 1880. Benedict Arnold. Sorry, it's Benjamin Disraeli. This 23rd President of the United States was the grandson of the 9th President. Benjamin Harrison. Yes. This rabbit created by Beatrix Potter is Peter Rabbit's cousin. It is... Passing. It is Benjamin Bunny. He directed and played Derek Zoolander in the 2001 movie Zoolander. Ben Stiller. Yes. He is the first Prime Minister of Israel to have been born in Israel. Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, ben yes. In this song by Bernie Taupin and Elton John, the protagonist wears electric boots and a mohair suit. Benny and the Jets. Yes. And that is the sound that ends the round. And that is 8 out of 10 on your 62nd round. Great job, Dover. We're going to turn our attention to Trinity and Katie. You guys can choose from either Tell Me a Story or Pop Up. Uh, can we do Pop Up? Pop Up, you bet. And Katie, I will take your answer as the team answer. And the answers to all of the following will include the letters P-O-P -P in that order. 60 seconds, start the clock. This red flower put Dorothy and her friends Poppy. to sleep. Yes, he gets his strength from spinach. Popeye. Popeye. Yes, Andy Warhol and Jasper Johns are identified with this movement. Pop art. Pop art. Yes. This nursery rhyme features a mulberry bush and a monkey. Pop goes the weasel. Yes. This is what you might call an unexpected test. A pop, pop test. Pop yes. Pop. Yes. Uh, this can be stuck to your phone to make it easier to hold in one hand. A pop socket. Yes. This is an organization for youth football. Pop. Pass. Pass. As Pop Warner, this is what you call some music from South Korea. K-pop. Yes. This African animal lives in rivers and kills more people than lions do. Hippopotamus. Yes. This sugary candy comes on a stick Lollipop. and surely... Lollipop. Yes. Correct. And that was... 9 out of 10 on your 60-second round. Great job, teams, on great 60-second rounds. Alternates, thank you so much. You guys can take your seats as we move into round four. And in round four, we're going to pick back up with our toss-up questions, but we're going to double the point value. So these are now 20-point toss-up questions, and we will be deducting 20 points for incorrect responses. So it's a tight match. Play smart. Play strategic. Good luck, both teams. Here we go. This French king was only 38 years old when he was guillotined in 1798 at the Place de la Révolution in Paris. Ethan of Dover. Louis the 16th. That's the one. All right, teams, for this next question, go ahead and take a look at your monitors. This New Hampshire native and Massachusetts senator was one of the senators profiled in John F. Kennedy's 1956 book, Profiles in Courage. He was highlighted for his support of the Compromise of 1850, a series of five acts designed to diffuse tensions between free and slave states. That is Daniel Webster. All right, teams. 
How many pairs of wings would there be in a chicken coop with 32 birds? Ben of Dover? 64. Sorry, no. Trinity Hayden? 32. It would be 32 pairs of wings. The name for this disease, which is caused by a parasite carried by mosquitoes, loosely translates to bad air from medieval Lat uh, Italian. Liam of Trinity. Malaria. Correct. In 2016, this politician became the first woman selected as the U.S. presidential candidate of a major political party. Hayden of Trinity. Hillary Clinton. Correct. All right, teams, we've come to our Unitil power question. This question is worth double the points, so a 40-point toss-up question coming to you on your monitors. Take a look. Natasha Romanoff, who was an assassin for the KGB before she began working for the Avengers, is better known by this arachnid-inspired name. Hayden of Trinity. Black Widow. Correct. This woman was the first female co-host of a national nightly news show in the U.S., when she hosted the ABC Evening News with Harry Reasoner in 1976. She later went on to create and co-host the talk show, The View. Maddie of Dover? Whoopi Goldberg. Sorry, no. We we're looking for Barbara Walters. This Russian composer is perhaps best known for his orchestral suite, Scheherazade, and the Flight of the Bumblebee from the Tale of Tsar Sultan. Ethan of Dover. Tchaikovsky. Sorry, no. Is a good guess. We were looking for Nikolay Rimsky-Korsakov on that one. In 1967, Jennifer Ranke of Nebraska won the Scripps National Spelling Bee by spelling the word Chihuahua which is the name for a small breed of dog that shares its name with the Mexican state of Chihuahua. Spell Chihuahua. Liam of Trinity. C-H-I-H-U-A-H-U-A. -H 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 Very well done, you got them all. Teams, what leader is known for the words, never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few? That great line was Winston Churchill. All right, teams, a math question. You have pencil and paper in case you want it. What is three-fourths minus one-half? Hayden of Trinity. One-fourth. That's correct. In 1950, this woman became the first black author to win a Pulitzer Prize. She won the prize for poetry for her work, Annie Allen. Ben of Dover. Maya Angelou. Sorry, no. Trinity? was Gwendolyn Brooks. This singer and actor is the daughter of Judy Garland. She won the Academy Award for her portrayal of Sally Bowles in the 1972 movie Cabaret and played the recurring character Lucille Ostero on the sitcom Arrested Development. It was Liza Minnelli. All right, teams, another picture question for you coming to you on your monitors. Take a look. This reptile found in Indonesia is the largest extant lizard, lizard species in the world. It can grow to lengths of up to eight and a half feet and weigh up to 200 pounds. It has also been known to attack humans. Ethan of Dover. Komodo dragon. Komodo dragon is right. All right, teams, another math question for you. If your car gets 30 miles to the gallon and gas is $4.10 per gallon, how much would you pay for gas on a 240 mile trip? Yeah, I checked my math on this, but it does come out to $32.80. This segregationist governor of Alabama ran as a third party candidate for president in 1968 and won the states of Arkansas, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Georgia. Travis of Dover. Jim Crow. Sorry, no. It was George Wallace. This reggae song by Bar Bob Marley is about an all black cavalry regiment that served in the American Indian Wars following the end of the Civil War. Matt of Trinity. Buffalo Soldier. Correct. Roman lawyer and author Pliny the Younger was an eyewitness to this explosive event in 79 AD. He wrote about it in two letters to the Roman historian Tacitus 25 years later. Hayden of Trinity. The eruption of Vesuvius. That is correct. 
Actors Jack Black and Kyle Gass are the two permanent members of this rock comedy band, which won a Grammy Award in 2015 for Best Metal Performance for their cover of the Dio song, The Last in Line. They are known as Tenacious D. MTV was launched on August 1st, 1981 with a music video from The Buggles that, cl that claimed in the chorus that this killed the radio star. Maddie of Dover. Video. Video did. Yes. In 1958, Willie O'Ree, the first black NHL player, made his debut as a winger for the Boston Bruins, but we're not going to get to the end of that question. And by a score of 420 to 150, Trinity is moving on to the next round. All right, congratulations, Trini, on a good match. We'll see you in a couple weeks when you take on your next opponent. And Dover, tough loss today to a strong team, but we had fun having you guys here. We hope you guys had fun being here. And we hope you had fun at home. I know I did here. Um, and every episode of Granite State Challenge, I learned something new, and I hope you do as well. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Major funding for the production of Granite State Challenge is provided by Unitil. Additional funding provided by NEA New Hampshire, Safety Insurance, the New Hampshire Lottery, D.F. Richard Energy, Cognia, HRCU, and viewers like you. Thank you.